is just so amazing. This is like a dream come true. I don't know if we're gonna make this flight. This is so crazy. Good morning, guys. So it is time to leave Singapore. We are headed to our 15th country of the Philippines. Yep, and our flight doesn't actually leave for a few hours, but Singapore's Changi International Airport, the Jewel, is consistently like the number one airport in the world. So we wanted to get here a few hours early to hang out, check it out, and show you guys around. So we're all checked in for our flight, and we are not going through security yet because we really want to see that iconic indoor waterfall, the Rain Vortex, which is in the Jewel. So we're uh, headed over there now. This is bananas. Like, how's this even in an airport? This is like no airport I've ever seen. No, this is crazy. This is awesome. Okay, that was awesome. I'm really glad we got here early and we took the time to check it out, but it's time to go through security. So one other reason we're extremely excited about today is we're flying business class and we paid with points. When I was booking our flights from Singapore to Manila, I was looking for points deals and for whatever reason, discovered that business class was cheaper than flying economy. So today we're flying business class from Singapore to the Philippines and we're still early, so we're gonna go enjoy the business class lunch. Excited? I probably shouldn't eat because we're gonna get food on the plane too, but I know, but I think I'm gonna do both. I may have flinched a bit. you got some dim sum and let me guess congee the chicken congee babe and a cappuccino i don't want to like hype you up but oh, that's like boy. the best bun i've had in asia so far dang like i want 50 of them those are bold words well they're complimentary so now <laughs> it's time to go get on the plane but that'll be cool too right yeah <laughs> still not into flying thank you very much <laughs> i have to say though this is easily the nicest airport i've ever been in let's buy me an hermes don't think they accept points <laughs> sorry toots yeah i think that would exceed the max on our Amex. <laughs> I think that would exceed, yeah.
We've got our own overhead compartments. We've got our own little pods here. I know. You don't even have to talk to me if you don't want to. And I won't. <laughs> So we got a little care kit with a mask and sanitizer and wipes, a bag of something, hand lotion, face mist, and lip balm. So just met our uh, nice flight attendant guy and uh, had a great conversation. Then he was like, you want some champagne? And I was like, sure. We don't even drink champagne. Cheers. Cheers. I just got served my meal. Course one. Like there's multiple courses. What is going on? Got like a prawn salad. I got beef, fried rice. That was one of the most amazing things I've ever eaten in the sky. And for dessert, chocolate cake. And now I'm gonna try the cheese. This is so amazing. This is like a dream come true. A year and a half ago, we were just dreaming about this trip. We started saving up points and miles. And it was just a crazy idea to do this and let alone pay for a lot of it with points, let alone pay for it with points. Business class. I just, I'm in shock. I cannot believe this is happening. How's it going? You enjoying yourself? That's really good. You comfy? Yeah, I'm a little short, so my feet barely. <laughs> you know, you can lean your seat, right? Yeah. There's a controller right here. You can. You just hold it to however long you want. <laughs> I love you. We just landed in Manila, and I have to say, that was the single greatest flying experience of my life. Hope she enjoyed it too. See you again soon. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. How'd you feel about that? It was good. It was really good. I could do that all the time. Yeah, that was awesome. And now we're in a new country. Country number 15. 15 on this trip. And you guys have been with us every step of the way. Well, some of you. Thanks for those who have been here from the beginning. I'm talking to you, Alex and Kim. Thanks a lot, guys. just checked in to the Grand Hyatt here in Manila. And uh, I guess you could say we're wrapping up our three week points run with one more upgrade. Let's show you the room. Dang. Okay, so this is a pretty nice room. Like, this is among the top three or four rooms we've stayed in on this trip. And for any of you people watching that have watched today's vlog and are like, man, these people flew business class. Man, these people are staying in a nice room. They must be so bougie and spoiled. We are. Well, today we are. <laughs> but we paid for this in points and free hotel nights and, uh, 
it cost us zero dollars. So I just want to remind you, this is normally not what this vlog looks like. And uh, this is totally within your reach if this is something that you want to do. But for now, we're going to pretend like we spent every dollar and just totally soak this in and enjoy it. And Allie's going to literally soak it in, in the bathtub, after this dance that she's doing. Couldn't keep us in the room long. It's not scorching hot either. Feels good here. It's about 6 p.m. Going to find some grub. So we're in line for what is supposedly some very good ramen. Like, amazing reviews. We finally made it inside. It was a long wait, like over an hour. I didn't say this, but probably should have. We're at Mindokoro Ramen Bar. We just got some dumplings. Gyoza. My ramen has arrived. Oh my gosh, Allie has some thoughts. That bowl of noodles changed my life. <laughs> it was so good. It was... It was like a really long wait, but somehow also, like, I would wait longer for that bowl of noodles. And anyone that knows Nick Kennett knows that that has to be saying something and he'll wait hours for food. All right. Good night, guys. See you in Manila tomorrow. Bye-bye. So we got to the airport and realized we didn't have a document we needed. So now okay, Nick's on the phone uh, trying to get booked, our application I said, I don't like, know approved we really fast. I don't know if we're going to make this flight. So we didn't make our flight. I think that's the first time in my life that's happened where it was my fault. Where to begin? We definitely didn't have what we needed. So what we have gathered so far is that to move around certain provinces within the Philippines, you need what's called an S-Pass. And if you were following us around in Thailand, you're aware of how difficult it was for us to get the Thailand Pass. Well, the S-Pass was just about as difficult, except there was way less information available. But we ended up missing that flight, getting S-Passes finally figured out, which involved having to have tours booked through a travel agent in the territory that we're in. Our hotel helped us out with that. We just got new tests. We're waiting on the results. We booked new flights, and uh, our new flight boards in about 30 minutes. And we're hoping we get our results back in time. Just have to say, not nearly as bad as the car snafu. We're both starving, and uh, I could definitely use some more coffee, so that feels similar. Uh, I feel like we've burned an entire day, so that feels similar. I didn't have to get a cute tip shoved up my nose when you ruined that car. It's true. But it's gonna be okay. Sometimes travel's like this. I'm surprised it hasn't been like this more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so hungry. <laughs> So now we're standing in line to get rid of one of our bags because we have too many. 
and we're still like an hour away from our flight and the board says last call, so. And they didn't check our documents. Who knows? This is so crazy. But we started boarding basically as soon as we got here. <laughs> so pretty much since 8.30. We've been and It's on. like 2 p.m. It's been a crazy five-ish hours. Allie is not happy. I can't believe it. We're actually seated on an airplane right now. It's one of those planes with propellers. I hate it. And it's raining. We finally made it to our room. And Allie has been in this position since we got here. That was so much harder than it needed to be. That was pretty hard work. Yeah, so every bit of today was like unclear and inefficient. Contactless. Uh, Cebu Airlines <laughs> kind of marketed the experience as contactless. I think I had to give people my boarding pass and people touched like our stuff more than any other flying experience I've ever been a part of. Yeah. And we're not just gonna sit here and complain for 20 minutes, but it, <laughs> she might. Uh, I feel like it, but honestly, I'm to that point where I'm tired enough and hungry enough that I'm just gonna stop talking until I get food. We both have only had a package of peanuts. Package of peanut M&Ms. <laughs> So we'll bring you guys back along tomorrow yeah. on hopefully a better adventure. We finally made it to Coron in Palawan in the Philippines and we ended up spending the entire day just trying to get here. See ya.